Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I'm going to show you a beginner's tutorial on sky replacement of a night photo. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer living in the beautiful city of Paris, France, but right now in Los Angeles and probably for most of winter. I make two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to subscribe to my newsletter and get all the raw files I'm going to be using for this episode and all the past episodes, Photoshop actions, free textures, a lot of free stuff. And click here if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the last episode, I showed you how to use Autopano Pro, an amazing software to make panoramas, to make a vertorama of the Flatiron building in New York. Check it out. This week, I'm going to do a beginner's tutorial. The idea is just to show you how to get around into Photoshop and how to replace the sky of a night photo. So it's really for people that just want to learn the basics of Photoshop. Let me show you. Okay, mesdames et messieurs. So to start with, I just want to announce that I have a new challenge coming out and to uh, submit a photo to your challenge, you have to click here and you have to log into your account. You have to create an account with me. If you don't, it's totally free. Once you've clicked, an account created an account you click on this little man here and you can go to my photos and there you can add photos you just put a name and a description and a photo once you have entered photo uh, you can see here there is competitions you can click enter now and choose photo and it will choose from the photos you enter you just click on choose and the, the photo will be in this competition the competition is going to go until Thursday 22 January 2015 midnight and the winner will get my master retouching class plus be featured on my YouTube channel, which now has over 200,000 subscribers. So it can give you a little bit of attention. Voila. So that is starting now. Please send me your nice urban landscape. Now talking about urban landscape, I had this idea of making uh, to change a little bit to make a tutorial just on Photoshop. Uh, I want to um, try to make simple tutorials for people. I realize a lot of people know Lightroom, but they don't know Photoshop. So I want to do like very uh, entry level, simple tutorials. If you know everything there is to know about Photoshop, you're very familiar, you can stop watching the video now because this is really like an entry tutorial. And the way I teach and the way I like to share my knowledge is always through examples. I don't like to give big theory and there's a lot of theory in Photoshop. So I want to do it by example. So the example of what, what I want to do today is I have two files. One is a sky. One is a photo that I retouched in Lightroom. I did my best that I could do in Lightroom of a, a view from the rock, the rock Rockefeller Center, a view of the Empire State Building in New York. But I find that the sky is a bit boring. So I want to see if I can get some of this sky into this scene here. And that's something you can do with Photoshop and that's something you cannot do with Lightroom. So first, let's just talk about Photoshop at first. Right now, I am um, I went to Windows Workspace and I went into the Photography Workspace. The Photography Workspace is going to give you a layers here. This is what we're going to be using the most and it's just going to make everything kind of cool. Now you see here, I'm in tab mode. There is different modes. So tab mode is the one I prefer when I work in Photoshop. But if you go to Windows and you go to uh, Arrange, and you go, for example, uh, tile all vertically. Now you get like windows, you know, individual windows. It's, it's a different concept. So you don't have, you have tabs, but they are on its, on its own. I personally go to Windows Works, uh, Arrange, consolidate all into tabs. I like to work with tabs. And it's very important for this tutorial, if you're new to Photoshop, to work with tabs because I discovered that a lot of people uh, did not, not know that and had troubles to get one file over to the other. And the way I'm going to transfer the sky, for example, to uh, here is going to be using this tab. So I'm insisting a lot on that. Okay. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, to uh, make this sky nice is I'm, I have a little preparation to do. So you see, we have here one layer that just contains our sky. And you see here, there's a little lock. I want to unlock that background layer. So I'm going to click on my lock and put it in the trash here. What that's going to do is now I will be able to change uh, my, uh, my layer. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my move tool and I'm going to move my um, photo roughly in the middle. It doesn't need to be exactly in the middle. Actually, you have a, a Photoshop now tells me I'm exactly in the middle, but just roughly in the middle. Okay, then I'm going to take my layer. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to 
duplicate the layer. Okay, and I'm going to call this uh, I'm going to call this bottom. So when you right click and you create a new, you can give a name to your layer. So now it has there is two layers. One is called bottom and one is called layer zero. Let's call this one top. Okay, so you can just double click here and change the name. So now I have two layers. I'm going to go and make sure you're on the bottom uh, layer and I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to go to free transform. It's going to make a selection here. You will see there's little handles around that, that sky. I'm, I'm going to right click here in the middle and I'm going to go to flip vertical. Okay, then I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to take my move tool again and holding down the shift key, it's, by holding down the shift key, it's going to make sure that my sky is very straight. I want to get my sky lower and I'm going to put it in the middle. It's going to basically mirror my sky. So you have a top sky and a bottom sky. And uh, I like to use that. You will see why in a second, but it, each one is on its own layer. Okay. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to go on the top layer here. I'm on my move tool here and I'm going to click on that and I'm going to drag over to this other photo here at this other tab and I'm going to press shift before I let go of my mouse and this is going to put this guy in the middle I'm still on the move tool so now you see this is on the top on the top layer okay and I'm going to basically press first I'm going to press the zoom here and I'm going to press the alt key because you see the zoom now is if I click it zooms in so I'm going to press Alt. It becomes a minus zoom. So I'm zooming out. Okay. And now I need to make that sky about the size of the sky that I need. So I'm going to go to again, again to edit. Free transform. And I'm just going to put this handle here and this handle there to make my sky bigger and press enter. So now I need to find a way to blend this sky into this. So for that, I'm going to make this channel invisible by clicking on the eyes and I'm going to go back on the background here. And on the background, I want to make a selection of my sky because I want to, and that's the best way to do for night photos. So an easy way to make a fast selection of the sky is to use this tool here called the Quick Selection Tool. Okay, it's basically a brush that's going to help select the sky and it's going to detect and do its best. So to make that brush small or big, all you have to do is press the control and the alt key on your keyboard and you drag your mouse. So you want a big sort of this size, quick select and you just paint and you see it makes a little, what we call marching ants is basically, is basically making a selection of the sky and I'm just making a fast selection of the sky. Okay. But I need to do a better one because, um, you know, there is building sticking out like the empire state building in this building. So I'm going to go into refine edge. And so now in Refinage, you have different view modes. I like to work in this overlay mode. Basically, the way the overlay mode is, I'm not going to into more details because this is a beginner tutorial. The overlay mode puts in full red what is selected. Once you're in the overlay mode, um, by default, you're using a brush. The brush is going to help correct uh, the selection. All I'm going to do is paint on the Empire State Building. And it's going to do a better job of trying to select the Empire State Building. And I'm going to do the same thing with that building too here and with the antenna. Okay. So now I have my selection, which is ready. I just want to make sure that the output is to selection because you get many options. What we want is output to selection. So all I did, click on OK. All I did is, is now have a sort of a better selection of my sky. It's still a bit not precise because, you know, we have a lot of buildings. But you will see it's going to be fun. So now once you've got the selection there, I'm going to go back here, activate this top layer, click on the eyes here, and you can see we can see the, the, see the marching ants. And now I'm going to click here on this little icon, which is going to create a mask on that layer called top with that selection, which is active. And so now you can see already before after the sky is sort of blending in, but it's kind of weird, it looks very unnatural. That's because it is, you know, it's taken as a different time of the day, but I like what there is. So what I want to do to mix both, you know, I already helped mixing with the, the, the mask. You see, if you look at the mask here by pressing the alt key, you can see the mask. You can see everything this, which is white is going to basically make the sky appear. Anything which is black is going to not make is going to hide the, 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 the sky. 
So by pressing again the, with the Alt key on the mask, you see again the result. So now what I'm going to do is this layer is being selected. I'm going to lower the opacity of that layer. I'm going to until very low, like about 25%. All I'm trying to do is get a little bit of that sky here. Okay. But the problem is that we have some sky left on that building and maybe a little bit on the Empire State Building. So to correct that, make sure you select the mask. And now we're going to go over to the brush tool, a little brush tool here. Make sure that um, black is the foreground color. If it's not the case, press D and X. D is, is for default and X is going to make the black as your foreground color. Make sure the opacity is around 50%. So you're not painting with full black but with 50%, let's use the same trick that we did before with the brush by making the brush smaller. And I'm just gonna paint here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put the opacity on 100% because I've got a small brush. I'm just gonna paint here just to make sure none of that sky is on that building, just that. But the rest is kind of fine. All it does, it adds a little bit of texture. The problem is that we have a different color from the top and the bottom. So to help do that, what I'm gonna do now is that I'm going to go back to that original file. Remember, we have top and bottom. I'm going to go to bottom now and make sure I'm, I'm on the move tool. I'm going to click and drag this over to the other document. Make sure that the, this bottom, okay, is going to go here. I'm going to take my zoom tool and press the Alt key again to zoom out, okay? Then I'm going to go back to Edit, Free Transform, and again, I'm going to make this bigger and make this bigger. Okay. And now all I'm trying to do is get some of that sky color and feel onto the city. And for this, what I'm going to do is on that layer, instead of using a mask, I'm going to go to the um, layer option, blending option called soft light. And what soft light is going to do is basically it's going to mix up the colors, but again, it's a bit too strong. So I'm going to lower the opacity of it but it's gonna help match the top layer with the bottom layer. And you can see here, there's a little line. Let me show you the before and after. There's a little line here because it's a bit too obvious. So we again, I'm gonna press Z and Alt to zoom out. We need to do something about that line, it's too obvious. So for that, what I'm gonna do is create a, a mask, this time without a selection, so it's gonna be a white mask. Then again, I'm gonna take a brush, a little brush, which is here. The, sorry, the brush is here, a little brush. Okay, making sure that brush is about that big compared to the size of the photo. And um, so now I'm gonna have to paint again in black, but this time I'm really gonna lower the opacity like I want at 50%. I'm gonna make a big brush. And I'm what I'm gonna do is gonna, I'm gonna paint here just at the limit here. And by doing that, it's gonna make a little, let me show you if I zoom in. Now you won't see a little line. You see, it blends a bit better. You can see, still see some clouds, uh, so that's kind of weird. But you can take the brush, make it small, and where, wherever you see some weird things like the clouds, but you know, it just blends pretty well. It just gives a, an overall feeling to the photo, which is kind of nice, okay? And basically, that's it. This is the bottom, before and after. So it's kind of cool. It got, gives this sort of feeling that there is in the sky, and this is the sky, before and after. And if you want to see, how we started, you can just press the Alt key and click on the eyes here. It's going to show you the photo without the layers. So it's just, you know, giving drama and adding a bit of details. I was, you know, I was like upset to go the whole way up to the Rockefeller Center. And just that night, there was no sky, no, no clouds when it was like that the day before. So, you know, just adding a little bit of texture is a good exercise. And sky replacement is a good way to learn Photoshop. I'm actually going to provide you with this two file, the sky and this, all you have to do is subscribe to my newsletter to get this for free. And so you can train and try to do it at home. It will be like a smaller version of this because I'm going to put this in galleries or books or something. But you know, I, I like to reveal all my secrets and I like people to give, you know, to try with my own photos. So I'm going to give you a smaller version, but you can, you know, still make that photo go. Hope you like this and back to me. All right, mesdames et messieurs, I hope you like this and I hope you're going to send me your best Herbert Landscape Photography for this week's challenge so you can win my Retouching Masterclass and be featured on this show. Thank you so much for being there and I will see you in another episode. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir.